First things first, we should make a scoreboard named Dungeon that is a dummy. Then set a fake player named D value, which stands for Dungeon value, to any value you want. This will determine on how often it will naturally spawn. As you can see I set it to 5. Now there has to be 5 bats to be tagged as found in order for your custom structures to spawn. So this is a problem that can be easily be fixed. Just put on ground, 1B in NBT tag then it should be good though it isn't meant for this method. The first command should be in repeating and in always active. This will always set the scoreboard to zero for maximum accuracy. Which means if a bat is spawned, it will remove that bat out of the scoreboard. Second command will test for bats that is in your world and doesn't have the tag found. Then it will add this bat to the dungeon scoreboard. This is the one responsible for reaching a specific value in D-value that we've talked earlier. The third command tests if there are enough value of bats or matches the value of bats to D value. If it matches then it will summon an armor stand to random bats with a limit of one that is called a spawner. In short, dungeon counter is a bat counter. I don't know why I called it Dungeon Counter. Anyway, fourth command also tests for how much bats are in your world. If it matches D value then it will tag all the present bats with found. This will reset the whole contraption and start again to spawn another structure. Again, when it matches D value the fourth command will execute a spawner that is on the ground and it will set block a structure. Which is this structure right here. Moving on, the fifth command will set block a redstone block to power the structure and finally, the sixth command will kill the spawner to prevent spam.
we have a scoreboard called random value, which is basically like a timer. We'll use this to actually randomize. The good thing about this is you can make it to function file. First command adds the player to 1 every time. Second command determines if it reaches to 10 or any limit value you want. This will reset the timer or randomizer. We will use this random value scoreboard to execute from any numbers. Like I said earlier, we can make it to function file, which can be possibly create more rooms. The commands are very simple. You might want to read the descriptions for further explanation. The spawning mechanism also works the same with the first method. I made it like this so you guys can see it in action. are in here, we're using the function file. It seems like it works better since you can just copy and paste and change some numbers. I'll do it a couple of try to prove that it is indeed randomized. We are lucky this time cause we spawned all three rooms. This will work perfectly with custom loot tables. 